Hey guys, how are you guys doing? So about a month ago, I released our 2.0 Gecko PR Flex Bridge right here. And while I was having some conversations, just to get a feedback from our Gecko PR Flex Bridge users, uh, Gecko parents, I got an idea. Maybe I should share a story how I came up with this item. Because every products that you see on our store, they all have a story. And all of these products was created because for the one reason, for alternative solutions for reptiles. So to begin the story, the Flex Bridge was created about a year ago. Um, I got my first Crest Gecko and I was just trying out a bunch of different products. I was trying Vine, I was trying Branch, I was trying Bamboo Bar, a bunch of different things. And the, the things that I found from these items was most of these item decorations that are, on the, uh, that are hanging inside the enclosure they use a suction cup method or they use a magnet method to actually hang on the enclosure. Yeah. While I was using a bunch of different items, I realized that all of these items do come off pretty easily. So after like maybe four to five days, I do see these items on the ground. When I was thinking for long term, when these things keep happening repetitively, I noticed that this may hurt the geckos. Now, this is not a common thing. This will be a rare thing is that it could really hurt the geckos, but when there is a slight chance, when there's a slight risk that could actually hurt these guys, I definitely don't want to use it. And I really want to find the solutions to make sure that these guys are living the best life, best quality life uh, inside the enclosure. As you know, when you're keeping crusty geckos, they're more kept in a humid environment rather than the dry environment like leopard geckos compared to the leopard gecko. So I, you, you might often see mold growing on the tree or branch uh, if you don't maintain it well. And I saw some mold and I was expecting it to go away very soon because I had an isopod and spring tails and things like that in the enclosure, but it did took a couple of days to actually finally clean it. And during those times, there could be another risk which that could happen. Um, they could step on it, they could accidentally leak on it, and I had to make sure that I had to find an alternate solutions at that time when I see these problems. The, the good thing about these is they don't have a suction method or magnet method. You just simply cut this a little bit bigger than the enclosure that you have and you just slide it in. During the time when we are working on the two point of flex bridge, we created this uh, connector which is the accessories that you can connect these here into bridge with, along with another bridge together to make it longer. And this is the 2.0 flex bridge that we created. Now, every order that you place, it comes with two bridges. There's a two right here. Uh, there's one, another one here. But anyway, I'll put this right here. While we're creating this, let me show you the comparison. So this is 1.0, this is 2.0. Overall, the thickness is the same. Right here, they're basically the same. And the length is a little bit longer. Now, when I was making this adjustment, I just didn't want to make it longer. I want to add something new feature in there. And uh, about that time, I had about three to four experience of testing the 1.0. And I was also feeding the gecko, but the dish were usually on the ground. But what you know is when you're keeping these sticky feet geckos, they like to be above the enclosure. So normally when I see gecko trying to come down to eat, it's gonna be a lot more hassle for them. And some lazy geckos don't really, really want to go down at all when they eat. I mean, if they're hungry, they have to go down. But I knew that if we have something that has a built-in cup feature in the bridge, then it's gonna be a game changer. So we started coming up with a design to come up with a cup feature where we install this small cup feature right here in the bridge, as you can see. And you can just literally put a uh, gecko diet powder here with the water and you just mix it and then you're all set. But uh, for anyone, in case, like if you're a breeder or if you have a lot of geckos, the time when you're cleaning these, uh, like having to uh, take this out and cleaning the cup could be a hassle. So we also created the replaceable cup. Let me show you the, the design. So it looks like this, and there's a little handle right here uh, where it's easy for you to um, pull it out when you need to clean the bowl. So you can simply install it like this. It doesn't come out 
hold its position pretty firm. And whenever you need to clean, you just use the handle and take it off and you're all set. And when it comes to the cost, if you buy one of these, you pretty much don't have to buy anything except the bedding substrate and some hide. You get to save a lot of money with the food cup and also one bridge does take care of a lot of things. We also have a costume uh, designed uh, products that is called the treehouse, Gekopia treehouse. And you can use it and hang it on the bridge and you have a hide, cup, and you have a bridge all together. But overall, it's super easy to clean because they're water resistant. If any dirt get dried up on here, in case, you can just simply use a soap wet uh, kitchen towels and wipe it off and it comes out, comes out pretty easily. So if you own an Instagram page and you want to share your experience and your lovely get-go using our products, you can simply tag us on the Instagram and when we get tagged, we'll definitely share your photo uh, along with your get-go together and share with our get fans on our Instagram page. So just simply tag us in there and we can't wait to see how other parents are using their uh, bridges. Go ahead and try it and we will have a constant update on our new product as well through our email. So if you, are, if you haven't signed up for our email list, just simply visit our website, link in the descriptions and once you click it, you can sign up and we will definitely keep you guys updated and show you guys our future products like this. That's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Got love, peace out.